Hey survivors, it's me, Brian Hazard, your ever eager explorer of all games narrative. And tonight, I just wanted to take a look at another designer that I think is doing some really cool work in the RPG space, Cat Scratcher Studio. Let's explore together and see the work and take a look at it. Cat Scratcher Studio is a group that I hope to feature some actual plays of in the future. But for now, let's just take a look at what they have on offer. So this is their itch page. If you want to sort of follow along and check it out for yourself, it's catscratcher.itch.io. And I'm a cat person, so they already have some points in my book. Let's take a look at some of these games. So first up, we have Courage, which is a Carta RPG about defeating evil. So basically, The Legend of Zelda is the big influence here. And But Carta, if you're not familiar, bears some similarities with Wretched and Alone, but you lay the cards on a grid and there's more of a exploration feel to it. Courage is, I think, probably the crunchiest implementation of Carta that exists. I don't take my word for it. I, you know, maybe, maybe not. But you can see that there's actual attributes and game rules. It's not purely a, a journaling game. This is designed to be played as a campaign of short dungeon playthroughs. So if, let's take a look. Obviously, I'm not going to read through this whole document because it's 50 pages. But the most important takeaway here is that you, you have the big bad that you're going to try to take down. But first to do that, you have to sort of weaken the big bad by defeating these dungeons, which have to do with an aspect of of the big bad. You can see that there's some world building prompts here to get you started. Then there's some dungeon generation. So you'll have the the sunken uh, temple, you know, things like that. And then you go through each dungeon and, and defeat it. And then finally, you have a final battle. So now that you've assembled the powers from all six relics, it's time to bring the fight to the beast. Both sides of this war have been preparing for this, and the clash will decide the future of the world. So you have to breach the lair of the beast, challenge the beast in its original form, and then it will transform into evil incarnate, and hopefully you defeat it and win the game. And then you can go back and, and do another campaign. So that's Courage. It's a crunchy, Carta-based solo RPG in the style of Legends of Zelda. So next up, we have Divinity Fall. I don't know a lot about it. I do know that this is about mechs taking down God. I was part of the Attack and Dethrone God jam. So this one has, has unique card-based mechanisms, and I mean... Check out this this cool play sheet. That is Divinity Fall. Next up is Friendly Neighborhood Superhero. I'm hoping to play through this one soon, actually. So let's let's download it and take a look. So it's a solo RPG about protecting, befriending, and improving a community. And this is more like tonally, it's it's like Spider-Man, that sort of thing. So kind of, you know, kind of friendly neighborhood superhero you know not not super like grim dark or anything like that this is this is uh happy go lucky superhero type stuff is is the intended tone here it's a day in the life of a friendly neighborhood superhero so there's prompts to help you create your hero their ability how they get their abilities how to allocate attribute points uh, there's prompts to help you define your neighborhood. And then you play through a day in the life and it has prompts to help you come up with scenes and then you how, how you can solve a problem using your attributes. And then what you can do with your experience points that you gain in your journey. So I'm interested in diving in and being a superhero. <laughs> so look forward to that. I hope to play this one live. One of the things that really makes a game stand out is is its visual design, and and they have done visual design really well here. So here's uh, Murder, a Wretched and Alone murder mystery, and I mean, it, it just looks awesome. It's just very beautifully put together. A couple of very simple, well-put-together 
graphic elements like this can just really elevate a game from the great game that it is to something that you just really enjoy reading through and playing, you know. So that's murder. So this one's a murder mystery. This one's kind of like a Greek or Roman legendary hero story. And this one's a solo espionage, and it actually uses some cipher-breaking mechanisms. Here we go, ciphers. Yeah, it encourages you to use ciphers for your journal. Obviously, that would be time-consuming, but it would very much increase the feel that you're actually a spy, right? <laughs> it's immersion. Clever. I like that. Cross Fates is another, like, wholly original, card-driven RPG, but it's for two players. This is one that I'm interested in playing with with somebody else at some point. So, will you be my friend? I'd love to play this sometime soon with, with another player. Got to figure out a good web-based deck system. And then this one is a Halloween-themed game. You can't play it solo. This will be a fun one for around Halloween to play with another. So, anyway, that's Cat Scratcher Studios all but two of them are solo games a lot of very cool design territory being explored here great implementations of wretched and alone srd some cool or fully original mechanics a great implementation of the carta srd really cool design studio and really love their vibe wanted to call your attention to them and you'll probably be seeing them again because i hope to do some actual play of some of their games Thanks for watching. If you if you like solo RPGs or GMless RPGs or game books, it basically any kind of game with a story, Insta Death Survivor Support Group is the podcast and YouTube channel for you. So subscribe, like, and comment on this video. That kind of stuff helps me know what kind of content is is you know resonating for people. I do have a podcast. Uh, you can find it at anchor.fm slash instadeath. The second season is going to launch soon. And if you'd like to support, I have a Patreon page, behazard.patreon.com. And over there, you can support the show, get some exclusive behind the scenes, that sort of thing. So thanks for listening, and I'll catch you in the next episode.